This is Code.org, and we are on a challenge, Challenge Puzzles. Are lessons designed to stretch your brain? Just do the best you can. We'll do better than that. We'll do it correctly. Challenge. Take what you've learned about for loops and try to solve this problem. Remember, you may have to run through solutions multiple times before you figure out all the steps. Definitely. And that is fine. The great thing about code is you get to be wrong a lot. Actually, at least for me, I'm wrong more than I'm right. But once you get it right, you know, because everything works. Okay, let's get going here. So they start us with the win run block, and we have 14 blocks we can use. Wow, that is a lot of blocks. Okay, I'm going to just start laying down like I always do some code just to kind of figure out what's going on here. I'm going to need to move forward a bunch. Um, well, obviously, I'm going to need a loop for this, right? I don't want to sit here and put down 10 of these. So I'm just going to use a repeat. And again, I'm just testing stuff out because I'm not really sure what to do yet. How many blocks is that? We'll say seven maybe. And then let's test. Oh, see, that's a problem. Oh, turn to the right. There we are. Okay, and now I'm repeating this. Okay, so it is seven. What would I do after that? Well, I need the nectar. Hmm. The nectar is 14. 14 is double seven. Interesting. Let's make note of that. So let me down, put this down here and throw a 14. And action. Get nectar. So right now I'm going to turn right. I'm going to move forward once, twice, and this keeps repeating the code seven times. Once it's done, once it hits time seven, the seventh time, it says, okay, done with this, and goes to the code below it. Oh, I need to do this 14 times, and I should get 14 nectar. Okay, so that is looking good. Then what would I need to do? Hmm, well, I would need to turn right. Okay, and then what? Well, I would need to go forward one, two, three, four, five. And again, that's a lot, so I'm just going to use a loop. And counter. Five. Forward. And then once I move forward five times, ooh, I want to get nectar. How much? Ten. Huh. Ten is double five. Hmm, interesting, especially considering what we have been doing. So, loop, repeat, 10. And I do really think this is the best way to do it. I do this as an example, and I do this in real life when I am coding on my own projects. Hmm. Okay, let's reset. Now what would I want to do? Well, I'd want to turn right again. I'd want to go forward three, and then I have six neck. Wait a minute. Okay, so it looks like I'm repeating here. Turn right, and then I was about to do another one of these. And notice each time I have a seven, then a 14. I have a five, and then a 10 for my repeats. Okay, and the next one would have been a three and a six. So it looks like it's going down by two each time. So I move forward five. I move forward seven. Seven minus two is five. I move forward five. Five minus two is three. I move forward three. But then I only move forward one. Hmm, okay, so since I'm repeating myself, goodbye, goodbye, I know I'm going to use a for loop. They told us that, so for counter, and let's put all of this in here. Oh, including turn right, all right? So turn right isn't in either of these because we only turn right a few times. How many times? And I'm just going to start with one, two, three, four. So one to four should get us around, okay? But one to four won't be enough to actually collect it all. 
what would be enough to collect it all? Well, like I was saying, since we can use math as well, what if I did 7 to 1, and then 7, once we hit this, it'd be 6. We could go down by 2 each time. Now, we're going to hit a problem here, but we're just testing stuff out right now. So then, instead of moving forward 7 times, I can move forward counter times. Oops, I'm missing variables there. Because counter, when it starts to run, this says, okay, counter is 7, and we're keep counting till we hit 1. We're going to go, we're going to count by 2 each time. So 7, 5, 3, and so on. So it starts with counter being 7. I turn right, and it says repeat counter times. So it just says, what's counter? Oh, yeah, zoop, 7. Okay, so I need to do this 7 times. Move forward, move forward, move forward. And I keep going. Then let's do this. I think I can just write it. Oh, nope, not going to let me. Let's do this. We don't want to do it counter times because each time the nectar is twice the amount of steps. So notice they have multiplication already in here. We need variable counter multiplied by two. Let's try it. Hits the bottom and goes back through. I move forward five times because it counts down by two. Oh, because So, what just happened? I was thinking we were going to have problems at this guy. The reason we didn't is I was thinking this was a 1. But remember, we have this multiplication here. So each time I move forward 1, I get 2. I move forward 7, I get 14. I move forward 5, I get 10. So each time it's double, which is why whatever the counter is, that's how many steps we move. And then whatever the nectar is, well, it's going to be counter times 2 because it's double steps. Awesome. Onward.